Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Billyville Court. The proceedings shall begin shortly. Or they would. If only we could find that damn mix slick. Sorry I'm late. If there even is late in the court of law. You make a good point. Pretty late. I don't know. He's really late. I think he's a cool lawyer. Order, order. Ahem. Will the prosecution now please present their opening statements? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Henry Gellivant, representing Gellivant and Sons. Um, and today I intend to prove to you all, the judge, and any other <coughs> witnesses to this event, that Gorb is guilty. Kill Gorb. Thank you. I, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Uh, that Gorb is guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt to at least three counts of uh, cannibalism, uh, one count of murder in the first degree, and attempted and successful arson. Thank you, Mr. Gallivant. And now for the defense. The name is Rick Slick, and I'm here to say my client is innocent until proven guilty. Oh, yeah. My client has done a lot of very bad things. Allegedly. And I'm going to disprove them all. Now, if you will all look under your seats, I would have left a $5 gift card for each of you. Oh my. My, Mr. Ted. Hey. Well, hold on, hold on. That cannot be legal. You can't just pay the judge money. Well, how would you know that? Um, I mean, I went to law school. Good point. I read the law book once or twice. The law book? It's the law book. I'm starting to like it. The law? Okay, maybe I didn't read it. Judge, may I call my first witness? Sustained. Margaret Papadopoulos to the witness stand, please. Kill <coughs> Gorp! Thank you, Margaret. Um, I'm gonna begin my questioning now. Um, so, where were you on the night of the 28th? Um, I was at my aunt's house for my family reunion. Thank you, and how many people were attending the family reunion? There, there was about uh, 11 of us. Total. And how many people left the family reunion? Just, just me. <laughs> Can you walk through exactly what happened when Gorb arrived? Okay, so, um, we were, uh, sitting in the living room and my aunt had just brought her trademark cinnamon buns out of the oven and we were, we were all enjoying them when, when he, he came in and, and he ate them all! <laughs> This is very tough um, Can you, when you say ate them all, what are you, are you referring to the cinnamon buns? My family! You must be And then he set the building on fire. So just as a yes or no to recount, he came in, ate. You're all of your family members. Uh, <laughs> and then set your house on fire. Yes. Okay, thank you, Marcus. That's all we're gonna need from you. Um. <clears throat> hey, Margaret, it's me, Rick McSlick. Ka chow. And I'm gonna cross examine you. Now, tell me, when that house started burning, were there any pets in the house? Uh, pets? Any pets, yes. I... I suppose there were. <laughs> our... our three dogs. And who brought them out of the house? Well... Well... Since my family was dead, Gorp did. That's right. He's a goddamn hero. <gasps> Your Honor! I rest my case. Oh yeah! He's a good guy. Thank you, Margaret. Uh, you're all good to go. Um, and lastly, for my case, um, I'm presenting um, a piece of crucial evidence 
that will solidify this case. This is maybe even the best evidence I've ever seen um, to accuse someone, um, which is a severed arm that was found at one of Gorb's many crime scenes. Objection! That is not Gorb's arm. What? That is not, that arm does not belong to Gorb. Okay. Judge? Sustained. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Your Honor, I'd like to call Don Capo Ginocchio to the stand. Ooh, Don Capo Ginocchio. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here to say a few words about my buddy Gorb. Me and Gorb go way back. And he's a very reliable guy. I can always trust him to keep a good secret. He's a good guy all around. Let me give you an example. We had a guy in our business. His name was Tony. And Tony was having a couple of issues with work. And he had to leave. And uh, there was a bit of a mess. And Gorb was able to help out. Unfortunately, Tony was found at the bottom of a lake about a week later. But thanks to Gorb, there was no mess. He really is a good guy. He really is. Your Honor, no further questions. Ka-chow. Um, so that was pretty weird, I thought. Um, just generally that whole line, like, there was, I don't think you asked any questions, actually, of the witness. Um, but I guess I'll start with, um, when did you and Gorb first meet? Uh, it's hard to say. We kind of met at a bar, probably. A, a bar? What type, like, what, where, what, what bar? Do you remember what bar? Uh, I couldn't say. Don't answer him. Don't give him any Uh, we... I think that uh, you met sometime in mid-May, is that correct? How could he know that? Don't say anything. I don't him. remember, don't actually. Well, let's say, if you guys met in mid-May, at a bar, um, there happens to be a very suspicious murder that was know, left unsolved murder. around that same time in a bar. Oh, Were you in the upper side? I'm sure there's no connection. We met at a different bar than the one you're talking about. I know all about that case. Oh, okay. Very curious. Um, I would also like to ask how long you and Gorb have been working together for? Well, about five or ten years, maybe and fifteen. What exactly do you and Gorb do? A business. Oh, yeah, what type of business? The professional guy. Yeah, um, do you mind to elaborate? Do you care to elaborate? Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't like that Okay. Well, if you have nothing more to say, then that's it. So, thank you. Thank you. I object! <gasps> Excuse me, sir. Who is that? But who are you? Who is that? Is, is this, a? Uh, not a wedding. No, that's the next one. That's ridiculous. Oh. Uh, carry on then. Excuse me, Your Honor. In face of all of this ridiculousness, I'd like to make a request to actually call up one more witness. Sustained. I'd like to call Gore. So thank you, Gorb, for getting up on the witness stand. And I've just got a few questions for you. Um, I guess first is I'm just curious to get to know who Gorb is as a person. Like, what do you do in your free time? Kind of interesting. I mean, I wouldn't expect someone like you to be interested in things like that. Right, and how long did you say that you were working there? Oh, wow, that's really a new perspective that I'm starting to see about you. I didn't really understand that someone like you could be doing so much good in the world. That's 
so interesting. I guess, is there any other things that you'd like to say? Like, do you want to comment on your work with Don Cappuccinocchio? Like, that'd be great to hear a little bit more. Wow. You know, that's just so amazing, and it's such a great thing that you, like, you're such an asset to this community, honestly. I didn't really understand that you were uh, so useful like that. so great. Thanks, Gorb. Um, I'm gonna dismiss you now, uh, for, uh, cross question. Now, Gorb, it appears to everyone here that you are a very charismatic and innocent man. But I have one more question for you. Oh, excuse me, everybody, but am I interrupting? Mr. Mayor, how nice to see you. Is that Rick McSnick? Damn right it is. It's been a while, pal. Wow, it has really been some time. Man, I've got to take you out for drinks after this. Absolutely. They'll be on me for sure. No, drinks on me. No, drinks on me. And who's that next to you? Why, that's Gorb. He's on trial, you know. Wow, Gorb, you on trial? That's very cool for what? Being such a great guy? Yeah, <laughs> just about. Oh my god! Gorb ate the bear! Oh my god, I can't hate him. I was doing the whole thing. Bad Gorb, bad! Well, hold on a second, everyone. was a large mayor. If there's no more mayor, then we'll need a new mayor to run the town. Hey, you're right. Hey, I know a guy. I think I know a guy. Are we thinking of the same guy? I think we might be thinking of the same guy. <laughs> Let's say it on three. One, two, two three. Gorb! Gorb! Well, Gorb. it's official, folks. Gorb is the new mayor. And both him and his lawyer should be receiving a large cash Gosh, settlement. Oh, hey! Ah. Hello? Hey, Rick, are you down here? Oh, yeah, I was just getting ready. What are you doing? I'm uh, getting ready. I couldn't find we my have sunglasses. We a case to get to. We have to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the Gorb case. Gorb is waiting. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <sighs> Showtime. Final round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Denny's. 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 Denny's.